And honestly, that brewing company was so cool that I think we made the right decision. For us, there's a lot of cool places in Seoul and so far this is our favorite. Stop number two. Let's go. Okay. So the thing about starting at Ujiro Brewing Company is that it was delicious. So, so cool. Stop number two is the Ranch Brewing Company, which is a really cool front door kind of thing. Um, maybe a bit gimmicky. Definitely not as cool inside, not as busy, and the beer is not as good. It's not bad. It's not as good. However, they also have Detroit pizza. We already ate dinner, not, but it looks it looks pretty good. So we're not mad about it. We just started real strong. Can I just add though that sadly the uh, Her Majesty the Queen passed away, and uh, sad day. Pour one out. Sad. Uh, what? Huh? Pour one out. Pour one out. So this one is for you, Queen Elizabeth. Cheers. It's be a good time to point out that these videos or are. are I think at this point, at oh, least two weeks behind, probably three, maybe four. They're behind. If you want to know what we're up to in real time, please follow us on Instagram. We love getting recommendations from y'all, but that is where we do things real time. These are way, 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 way. I know they was talking venomous. Hands gripped tied on the hips. All right, that was Ranch Brewing Company. And if you could only go to one brewery in Uljiro, go to Uljiro Brewing. But that's not a bad second option. It just felt like a little bit like, chain kind of restaurant inside, which is not. I quite enjoyed my Hawaiian pineapple fruity lager. I had a wheat beer. It wasn't that. It just wasn't the best. Um, where are we going next? We're going to a Washington Post. These are good. So, oh, where are we going? We're going to a Washington Post mention speech. Let's hope it's open. The other thing to note about tonight's endeavor is that it is Friday, September 9th. Uh, so the start of the Chisok holiday, so not everything might be open. However, it does feel kind of like a busy night. It feels similar, I don't know if this is accurate, but like in America, the like weekend before Christmas or Thanksgiving, before the actual holiday when everybody's home and hanging out with their uh, childhood friends. It feels like that. Is that accurate? Oh, these lights are giving Oh. Oh, this is your fave. Well, I think. Lights are maybe a giveaway. I don't. The name is in Korean, so I'm not sure exactly what place we're looking for. We do have Google Translate. Ah, that's true. But this feels right. Okay. The thing about this area is that everywhere looks like a hidden speakeasy. Why are you walking away? From? <laughs> Why are you walking towards me? Right. So there's an option here, right, with the colorful light. There, but then there's also this like 
like lamp, you know, shining onto a wall with like a, I don't know, like some kind of hotel type sign, but that's like not a hotel. Like, or it might be a hotel, oh, it might be a hotel. I don't know, I mean, this area, I mean, just everywhere you feel like there's a hidden bar behind it. And you're like, you don't want to miss out. We're going to be out all night. Which, we can be out all night tonight because the great thing about grandparents as babysitters is that we're all staying at the same Airbnb. And so we don't have to race home to relieve a babysitter. We can stay out as long as we want. Which is probably not that long, but let's see. That's not a bar. But do you guys see what I mean? <laughs> all right, also not a bar. <laughs> I was kissing you with my eyes open, but you said you said. Oh, I hear music. To keep them closed and be in the moment. So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted. But what about what I want? What about what I want? And what I wanted was to crash. That was your line. <laughs> yeah, hey. This is a sign. This is a sign of true love. You can have my lime. They know me well enough around here. I'm gonna pick that lime off the floor and put it back in my drink. Come on. Hey, who's in your glass? There's also rosemary in my gin and tonic, which is lovely. And yeah, there's like a sexy man garnishing my gin and tonic. It's not me. I said sexy. That's not what I said. It's not me. Indication that this is a bar from the from downstairs. I mean, it's just too cool. It's too cool. In the states, we have like so many rules, like code and zoning, and where can bars be, and how many exits must they have, and like this just would never, ever in a million years would you be able to say, yeah, I'll take the like top floor of that whatever this is office building and put a bar there. Like no way. So this is, I don't know, it may seem nerdy, like how excited we are by a night out in this kind of area, but it is genuinely so unique compared to anything that we have experienced. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what was that, darling? What time is it? Oh. It is 9.40. 9.40, we've been to three bars. Place your bets, how long, is it not even 10 o'clock? How many bars have we been to? Three. We've only been to three? Only, it's only 9.40. Like In New seven. York, I didn't even go out till like 11. Bar or hotel? I think it's a hotel and I think Calico, I think this is telling us that that is on the third floor and we should check it out. Um, right? I guess. How many clips of Pete raising up nondescript office building stairs will you watch before you well, quit this video? Now we're going to your bedroom. Don't you think we're moving too soon? I love to hear you when you complain. All the details start to sink in. I don't care about the right now. Door. With lights and a bar. See you on on any list that I saw, but it's as cool as all the other places I've ever been to. It's a shame it's a little bit quiet, but I'm not gonna hold it against them because it's like the holiday type thing. So, 
Love it. Because it's so empty, Pete decided he didn't want to be here this long, so he convinced us to do shots of Jameson. Uh, speaking of like not knowing how long I've stayed out in a while, I 100,000% do not know the last time I did a shot. I'm like strictly anti-shots. I'm like, I will get myself nice and toasty. Let me do it on my own time with my own drinks. I do not take shots. Anyway, she asked if we went on the rocks. So it's technically not a shot. It's a whiskey on the rocks, but we're, we got places to go, bars to see. Vibes, vibes to be had. Vibes to chase. Okay. Cheers. To Ujiro. Ujiro. Play my part. So when places are cool sometimes, I, get, I like, for whatever reason, the emotion I feel is just like anger. Or like how effortlessly cool it was. And the last time I felt this way about like a place or a city was in Tel Aviv where everything was just like effortlessly cool. And I think this neighborhood, so in general, but particularly like Uljiro in the Boy, evening. I would, I would have this been to I'm just saying the fact that you don't read about this in every single publication about Seoul, like this feels like it should be like in an airline magazine of like come to Seoul to have a night out in Uljiro. Like it feels like it should be on everybody's list and radar and we feel we didn't read about it much. We just kind of like want, the reason we know about this is we walk through the area and maybe maybe we're just not up to speed on Seoul, I don't know. But we were, we walked through this neighborhood once when we were staying in Myeongdong and we were like, that seems cool, we should, we should go back there. And now we're its biggest champions. <laughs> Let's go back to work. What is this? Somebody tell me what this says. Is this a printing press in this same building? Like, what does this say? I mean, what? Like, what's happening here? Time check. How many bars have we been to? What's going on? Alright, that was number four. Time is 10.01. The night is young. Stop five, we are headed back to where we started last time, which is the famous Nogari Alley. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that Nogari is like dried pollock. It's like a popular beer snack. Crossing the road, crossing the road, don't get run over. I'm keeping an eye out. Don't anyway, it looks, it looks a little bit quiet because the holiday, but this was, of everything we did in Seoul last time, this was up there with the most unique experiences. This like outdoor drinking in this very like industrial sort of area vibe. Again, if you happen to be watching this, it's crazy to us that people actually are watching these while planning trips to Seoul, but we've heard that people have found us before their trips. So if you are watching this and you're planning a trip to Seoul, I cannot recommend this area, all of this area, everything we just did, but particularly this Nogari Alley is like such a unique travel experience. So come put this on your itinerary. Can I just add? Also, wander the streets around here. And if you think it looks like it's gonna be a speakeasy or a hidden bar, just, just try it. What's I mean, the worst that would happen? You end up in an office? Just do it. Just, just do walk it. around, open doors. Sorry, it. we're super fans of Ujiro. It was definitely not as busy as last time, but knowing that these people all have to probably go home to their family and spend like all day tomorrow with family for Chusok, hungover, like good for them. Good for them. I also probably wouldn't be out tonight. So this this was the street that we went last time and it was covered in chairs and tables. And it's not right and now. now. It's just like completely empty. So let's spin you around. Right now is not the night to be a completely different experience. Still worth coming to this, to come to this area outside of a holiday, I think is what we have now established. Alright, second in line to 
get a table outside. We want to sit outside, right? Yeah. Okay. So we just got to wait, bide our time, and then we'll get to sit outside. This place is really cool. I love this area. It's unique, right? I mean, where else? I guess, oh yeah, no, Hanoi. We, we drank beers on the street, which was really fun. This is so different because it's like really concentrated with like tons of other bars and stuff like that. So it's worth the wait. Inside this place for about I don't know, 10-15 minutes. So if you come in here, just persevere, just wait or whatever. Got a great table. We sat down, we ordered literally about like three minutes later. No exaggeration. Beers, fried chicken, and pickled radish on the table. Unbelievable. Time check, it is 11 o'clock and... That was our fifth stop. Number five, ready for a couple of bars just down the street here. Yeah, I think we have two bar options down this street. Stephanie just saw this street down here and then she thinks there's something going down there. Going on down Definitely there. Is. There's like an Asahi sure and an Okinawa something. But, I mean, we can't go everywhere. All right, so. Well, we can. The babysitters sleep at our house. Oh, that's true. All right, we've got lights on up here. It's a sign. Um, but I'm, I'm cautious because there's two spots like right next to each other and I don't want to want to go to one then the other. So uh, I need to consult the map here a second. Wait. Just wait with me. Look, there's one right there. And then there's one right there. Let me know if you, like me, uh, I'm an avid Google Map user. When I had time to plan trips before we traveled constantly, I would make like the most intense Google Maps. So if you're going somewhere and you think I might have been there, please message me because I would love to share you, share with you. Uh, my Google map. Did you notice it was a full moon? Is it? Does it just uh, mean oh. full moon or something? No, I well, think. That, that, is, is, that, is that really what it means? Wait, yeah. hello. Is Chus Chusyok? Is it a lunar holiday? <laughs> oh my God. No, I think it is because somebody was like, oh, I well, didn't know it was a dark October. I think it's a lunar holiday because it's like the start of autumn. Guys, I'm so ignorant. I'm so sorry. Well, look, can you get a close up on it? This is making me think it's a lunar holiday, guys. Let me know. I should know this by now. I'm so sorry I don't. Get out of my shot. What's the name of the, the spot? The place? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Something with S. Is Something with S. Okay. Alright. Yeah. I think it's good. It's cool. Yeah. Okay. Go upstairs. Thank you. Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. Oh, tell us. Tell me. Yeah. That's a clue. That's a clue. That's a clue. done such an incredible job. She does like 90.99% of all of the work on these videos. She's, she's doing awesome. It's been like over a, a hundred videos now that she's put together and it's, yeah, it's incredible. And I also wanted to say to Hayes, if you're watching this in the future, I uh, hope you're enjoying it and uh, looking back at your early years traveling the world and um, that you're not too embarrassed with your mum and dad and that we love you so much. 
Steph is not going to see this until the edit, so it might not make it, but anyway, I felt like I wanted to share it, so here it is. Time check and update. Update, that was number one, two, three, four. That was number six, and the time is... Don't say that parents aren't cool. Uh, time is 11.41. It's pretty, like almost the next day. I'm pretty impressed with us so far. All right, you want to check out this alley down here? Let's do it. And then if not, then we're going to go back. We're going to backtrack a little bit to the area where we first started because there's still a couple of spots there that we hadn't checked out, so... Let's go. jacket out and I don't know where it is. <laughs> We've uh, got sidetracked by this uh, basement bar. It's another really cool spot. country keeps you on your toes. Alright, maybe, maybe here. This is our night camp. This is it. This is the last one. This is Cafe Wine. Bidi, bidi, bidi. Bidi, 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 bar. Alright, this might be the last trick. Come on. You don't know. He says that, and then the secret, all the Simpsons in here. Ah. Uh. Steph. Yeah, shut down. I don't want to go home, even if I'm always on my phone. All these people I don't even know, but I got nowhere to go. And you know, I'm always fucking broke. It's better than being alone. Nights alone, since you don't want me. 
said, maybe I'm not cool like you thought. Roll out of. It's dead now. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. But us. There's nobody here. Okay. Radio Gaga. Taxi. Pizza? You wanna do pizza? I wanna do pizza. I'm flying at the speed of fire. I don't want to make a super sonic man out of you. Don't stop me now. This is by far the latest we've ever stayed in. So, thank you for following along. Um, I know the footage has probably got a little bit crazy as the night has gone along, but I hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a brilliant night. this crazy video. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's really loud here. But we're ending it with a slice of pizza that actually looks pretty legit. So thanks for watching. We got lots more videos here in Korea. They're not gonna be like this, but thanks for watching. This is very okay. Are you going to enjoy watching this back when you're editing? Yeah, I am. <laughs> so, David, David Bowie.